My wife told me that she can make a better steak than me. So we're gonna find out today in a head-to-head -head battle. For anybody that doesn't know, this is my wife, Sabrina. Today, we're both cooking bone-in ribeyes that were provided by MTX Beef. I met Missy this past weekend. She gave us these beautiful cuts of steaks, and we're excited to make them. We're both cooking on Weber kettles, we're both using lump charcoal, and we're both seasoning exactly how we want. Let's get right into it. First, I'm gonna start by lighting up two b, &B fire starters. Next, I'm gonna put my charcoal chimney right on top, and I'm gonna fill this up around three-fourths of the way with lump charcoal. Now I'm gonna fill up my chimney. I'm gonna light my starters, chimney on top. Now I'm gonna season my steak with a layer of Southern Bell, and then a layer of Southern Hospitality right on top. I'm gonna make sure to get the backside, and I also wanna make sure to get the sides. The steak's just gonna relax here for a little bit while our charcoal gets nice and hot. I'm gonna start my steak with Southern Bell. I like a crusty steak, so I'm gonna go over with How to Barbecue Rights Steak Rub. My coals are nice and ready, so I'm gonna go ahead and dump them to one side of my kettle. I'll spread them out just a little bit. I'll get my top grate down, and then I'm gonna use my raised rack on the opposite side of the fire. This is where my steak is gonna cook for now. My steak is gonna go on again, we're opposite side of the coals. Now my lid's gonna go on with the vent right above the steak. If you guys didn't know, the technique I'm using is called the reverse sear. I like this for larger pieces of steak so we can bring it up slowly away from the coals and then get a nice crust in the end. All I'm gonna do now is watch this steak like a hawk. Here in 10 minutes or so, we'll check the internal temps. We do not wanna overcook this. My coals are ready, so I'm gonna pour them in. I'm also doing a two zone fire and I'm going to reverse sear my steak. Put on my grate, put the lid on top, and I'm also gonna put my vent open over the steak. After around 10 minutes, I wanna check the internal temp on my steak and it's looking like we're around 102, around 100 degrees. This dot's a little bit slower than the thermopin, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna turn this a little bit so that way the fat cap is now closer to the fire. So that bone kind of protected it a little bit for me, but I wanna get a little bit of char and rendering on this side, we're looking for 120 before we sear. I'm gonna take a look at my steak. We're at about 80 degrees. I think I'm gonna take my steak maybe to 100 and then start searing it off. My fire's not very hot. I think with lump charcoal, you've got a lot of small pieces, big pieces, random sized pieces. I think I had a lot of small ones in. So if I can just get it to 100 degrees internally, then I can start searing it off. It's been about 25 minutes overall on my steak and I'm just gonna take a look at the internal temps. We're sitting right around 126 degrees. So that is a little bit higher than I'd want it, but let's go ahead and start searing. And we're gonna do around 30 seconds per side. First, I'm gonna see how the first 30 seconds looks and we'll see if we need to continue going. I am looking for around 130 degrees on this steak and then we'll let it rest. It'll carry over just a little bit. It's been around 30 seconds. Let's go ahead and flip the steak, take a look. Oh yes, that looks amazing. That's exactly what I was going for with this steak. So I'm not gonna lie, my kids don't really like crust. I wanted to keep this pretty neutral. That's exactly why I just chose to go with the Southern Belt and the Southern Hospitality. I'm still gonna get great flavor. The crust is not gonna be too crazy, but if I'm being 100% honest, I think my wife's steak so far does look better. Around another 30 seconds later, we're just gonna go ahead and take this and put it back up top. And now it's time for me to see what the internal temp of my steak is. I'm still not quite exactly where I want. I would want this to be just a little bit higher around that 125 to 130. So let's go ahead and keep searing our steak. We'll flip it every 20 seconds or so. My fire's definitely dying, so I'm hoping my steak is where I want it. We're sitting right about around 102, 103. So I'm gonna go ahead and start searing. It's been about a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a flip. Fire's a little hotter on this side, so I'm gonna try and get it over those coals. Got a lot more flames now. I'm gonna try and give it a flip. We got a lot of char right here where that fire was hotter, but I want this side to get a little crustier.
My steak took me around 25 minutes to make and this is exactly what it looks like. I got that perfect medium all throughout the steak exactly the way I wanted. I prefer a little bit more rare than this, but don't forget we're cooking for the kiddos today. Now we're gonna cut into my steak. It's cooked medium just the way I wanted it. Definitely didn't want to overcook this steak. Penelope will call me out if it's not in her words, juicy. Okay, my son's gonna try the steaks first. Piper decided not to try any at all on camera, but here you go, son. How is it? Good. Good? Good. Now, he's gonna try the second steak. How is that one? Good. Good? Okay, out of, the, out of the two of them, which one do you like better, buddy? This one? This one? He chose Sabrina's steak. Okay, now Penelope's up. It's time for her to tell us which steak she likes more. Okay. Well, you took the whole thing. <laughs> How is it? It's good. Good? Okay, go ahead and try that one now. Mm, good. good. Which one do you like better out of the two of them? I'm gonna pick them both. You're gonna pick them both? Mm -hmm. You gotta pick a winner. This one? Okay. That's two for Sabrina, zero for me. So even if Piper says that I won, it doesn't matter. Sabrina wins this contest, put out a delicious steak today. Let's see if we can't get Piper's reaction. So Piper also picked my steak. I don't think I cook a better steak than my husband, but I still cook a pretty good one. As always, we really appreciate you guys tuning into this video. Thanks, and we'll see you on the next one. I flung steak. You see that?